Now that the file is done processing, we can click it to open it up, either in the recent scans or you can go into the full scans component and then you'll have all of your scans there. But since we just recently scanned it right here, just click it, it'll open up. And then this is what a scan looks like. Um, it's if you'll you'll notice in the first four columns, these are the columns that came directly from the file we uploaded, and everything from ASIN down this way is all the data that Scan Unlimited has pulled in for us. So uh, the first thing I recommend for users is to sort by rank. Uh, so having the smallest rank at the very top and then working your way down because you want to be looking at the items that are selling the most on Amazon and then working your way down to the items that sell the least. Um, I mean, seems like common sense, right? Uh, the next thing is you're going to see that at the end here, a lot of these items are negative ROI. Uh, high ranked items, so items that are doing very well on Amazon, tend to be very competitive. Um, so you definitely want to filter these items out so that you're not like focused on super competitive items. That's just my recommendation. I don't personally sell super high ranked items. Like some of these are ranked 13 in toys and games. That's way too high. Uh, there's too much attention there for there to be a profit. So let's go ahead and filter. There are two ways to filter in Scan Unlimited. The first one, which is kind of the shortcut, is to click the little menu icon to the right of each header. So like, for example, ASIN right here, you see this little icon, you just click it, and then you get a little filter window where you can choose what type of filter you wanna choose. Uh, so let's say, for example, it contains something, and then you put your value in and then press add, and that will add a filter there. I don't prefer to do that. Uh, there's a filter button at the top right. If you click it, that basically gives you access to all of the filters, including the ability to hide columns all in one area. So definitely recommend it. And also uh, definitely check out our update 1.7 video. I'll put a link here uh, that will show you how to load up and create presets, which are very handy if you find yourself consistently applying the same filters over and over again. So we have access to all of our columns right here. So let's go down to ROI and let's say we wanna have an ROI that's greater than 20%, so we'll say 20. Press enter or press add, that'll apply that filter. Uh, let's also say that I need to have a profit of greater than $1. So I don't wanna see anything that's in the cents. So press that, add. Also to make this a little bit more efficient to look at, Let's hide columns that we don't really care about. Um, there's reasons why you might care about something. So don't take it as like these aren't important, but some of these are going to be less important to some people. So for me, in this case, I'm going to hide the height, the length, the width, the height. Um, let's go ahead and also hide the referral fee. And let's hide the variable closing fee and also the variation parent. I don't need to see that either. So once I'm done with that, you just click outside of the filters and it will apply the filters and also hide all of the columns that uh, you chose to hide. So now we don't have to scroll as much. Um, so that makes it a little bit easier to find uh, products that are selling well. What I like to do is since it's already sorted by sales rank, I like to focus more on how the ROI profit area is doing. So I'm going to scroll over so that I can get that into view. And then I kind of work my way down. So <clears throat> uh, looking at the top one, actually, this is already a really good start. We have an item that is rank 542 in toy and games. You can see right here. And it has an ROI. Yeah, so ROI 68%. That's pretty good. Uh, so that kind of leads me to the second feature of Scan Unlimited that is very, very useful besides the scan as like the core function of Scan Unlimited is the product detail. So you can get to the product detail by pressing this launch icon on the right side of each item in your scan, or um, you can click shift click as a shortcut to get there. So let's just press the launch icon. And what this will bring up is essentially 
all the data from that row, but also more data, more detailed information about each product. So you'll see that the image was brought in. Uh, you'll also have a button here to check if you're restricted or not. So you just click that and it'll bring you to Seller Central and you can see if you're restricted from selling this on Amazon. Um, you get uh, 30 day, 90 day, as well as 360 day Keepa charts. You get all of the offers, including if Amazon is a seller. In this case, Amazon is not a seller on this product. So you would see an Amazon logo in um, this area right here um, if Amazon was the seller. Uh, if you keep scrolling down, we have a very nifty, handy ROI calculator that you can mess with to see like, you know, kind of what if scenario. So let's say, what if the product didn't sell for 794, we said it sold for 850. And then it would calculate your net profit and ROI. And then the last thing we have is the uh, variations component, which will uh, point out any other variations that are on that page. So like variation by color, by size, things like that. In this case, there's only one item, so there's only one variation. Uh, if you need to get back to the scan, you can press here to go back to the scan and it will actually take us exactly back to where we left off. So very useful um, for kind of going back and forth. And that's kind of the workflow. I, when you find something good here at this in this view here on the scan, you want to look at the product detail afterwards and then kind of see if it's worth purchasing or not. So uh, I'm liking this item that we found. Uh, so let's go ahead and add this to our purchase order. So I found this uh, free purchase order generator. Um, seems fine for our purposes, but you know, if you use your own inventory management software or whatever you use, Excel is fine. Uh, go ahead and use that. This is just free, so I decided to uh, use this as an example. Uh, so let's go ahead and create this. So I want to say, you know, my company name here, my company, you know, and then my address, one, two, three, Main Street. Obviously, don't use this, you know, put your own. <laughs> uh, and then you would put your vendor name. So in this case, it's Melissa and Doug. So, and then you can put their address if you want. Uh, give it a PO number. This way you can reference it for later. One, two, three, four. The order date. Deliver date, I recommend putting some notes to say that the cancel date, um, you could say for, let's say March uh, 1st, 2019. Essentially what a cancel date will do is it says that if, if they haven't shipped this by the cancel date, then the order is just canceled. This is very useful because of course we're looking at product data from Amazon right now. It can change over time. So you don't want something coming in like months later because you haven't checked the rank and the pricing and all that stuff. So it's good to keep it, uh, keep a cancel date there. So going back to Scan Unlimited, how would we order this? Very simply, just grab the item number. Remember, that's what we uploaded in the file. That's why it's really useful to put it in your custom columns because this gives us easy access to it right here in the browser. Notice I'm not opening Excel anymore because there's no need whatsoever to use Excel. If you do need it, there's a, a option button in the top right. You click that and you can download either the whole scan or only the filtered uh, results. That will download an Excel version of the scan, but I don't recommend it obviously because one of the main purposes of using Scan Unlimited is that you're able to use it in the browser. There's no need for Excel. So anyway, we're gonna grab the item number and we're gonna plug it into here. Uh, if you want, you can also grab the the uh, title here, but eh, in this case, I'm not going to do that. So we're gonna say item number this, um, the case pack, remember we also uploaded that, that was 40. So I wanna order things in quantities of 40. Uh, so that's good to know. But then the question is how much do I order? Well, this rank is really high um, I would suggest uh, using a free sales estimator. Uh, the one that I know of is the Jungle Scout one. So let's go ahead and open that. 
Uh, let's put the sales rank in. The sales rank was 542. So we'll put that into the estimator. United States category was toys. Um, something to keep, take note of is that these sales estimators are not super accurate, but if you're not familiar with how sales rank translates to sales per month, I recommend it because because it's better than nothing. It's better than not understanding at all how much something can sell. So this is selling 2580. Uh, this is quite a bit of inventory. So if you can buy a month's worth, sure. This is a little crazy, especially on a really high ranked item. Uh, you never know what to expect with these items because like the rank and pricing can fluctuate quite a bit. I would, when it's this high of a rank, when I say this high of a rank, I'm saying above 1000 rank, uh, I would buy maybe only 10% of what Jungle Scout is uh, saying is the estimated sales. Because this way it allows you to uh, quickly get out if you need to. So let's go ahead, so let's see, 10% of 2580, that's gonna be 258. But we need to, we wanna order things in quantity of 40 because of the case pack. Uh, remember the case pack over here? So what does that come out to be? We'll do like 240. That's a, yeah, that's a multiple of 40. So let's do that, right? Yes. Uh, and then we're gonna get the rate, which was 249. And that, where RPO, wait, why is there tax here? There's not supposed to be any tax here. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're already at $600. So really good start right off the bat. Um, got lucky this time. And don't, don't get discouraged if you haven't found a file that has good results. Um, there is a, f a video that I plan to release on advanced, um, advanced sourcing methods. I'll put a link if I've already released it on this video, so you can look at that. But uh, sometimes it's a matter of just getting more products uh, lists from your suppliers. Uh, this way you can constantly scan them and you know, with scan limit, it's unlimited scans. So you can just constantly refresh these and something that was bad yesterday might be good today. Um, so anyway, let's keep going down this file to see if we find any more opportunities. Uh, this one looks promising. This one right here has an ROI of 31%, but the, uh, so that's not like a very high ROI, but the good thing is that the profit margin is much higher than our previous one because the sales price is much higher. So you kind of want to like give that some weight to say, because when, when you're dealing with a small product, like meaning low price product, the ROIs can fluctuate quite a bit because it doesn't take much of a price difference to change that. A higher price product is uh, not so sensitive to that, so it's a little bit more stable. So I'm gonna say we're gonna add this in. Let's check the product detail. So remember we click the launch icon. Let's see what's going on. I like to look at the Keepa. Let's look at the 90 days. Uh, the price is actually pretty steady at $30. Sometimes you'll see it dropping below. We'll say like 20, hmm, let's say $26. Uh, but most of the time it's at $30, so it's pretty stable. Looking at the offers, it looks like Amazon is a seller. So definitely want to consider that when purchasing this item. Uh, it's a little difficult to sell against Amazon. Let's go ahead and use the calculator here. If the price were to go down to $26, what would the ROI be? All right, the ROI is not doing so well, but we're still making a dollar thirty on this, meaning we're still making a profit. We're not losing money, even in the case when the price goes down. There was a time period where it actually went down to like twenty three dollars or so. That would be bad, but looking at this chart, most of the time it's not selling for that. So during that time period, you wouldn't sell any. I would keep my price up and then wait for the price to go back to what it's normally at. So definitely very useful to look at the Keepa chart to get an idea of like the average. Uh, so let's see, I'm going to order this. So let's go back to the scan and uh, let's 
let's find out how many cells this is. So this is ranked 943. Let's go into here, switch this to 943. Sales are 1,860. But as I said, with these high item, high ranked items, I would only buy 10% of what Jungle Scout is telling you to buy. Um, especially if Amazon's on the listing, which Amazon is on the listing, so I would not buy more than 10% of one month's sale. Uh, so let's see, what's the case pack on this? Case pack is six, uh, one month, or 10% of one month would be 190, let's say 200 just to keep it even. So let's see, 200 divided by six, 33 cases of six, so 198 would be a nice even number. All right, 198, yeah, 198 to keep it in case back. And let's go get that item number. Item number is 8520, and put it into here. And the rate, what was our cost? 1499, 1499. So great, uh, we got our two items here. We already have a purchase order of 3565. So that's already quite a bit of product there. Uh, and we could keep going down this file, but I don't wanna bore you guys because <laughs> that's uh, a lot to go through. But as you can see, let's say you feel like these quantities are way too much money to invest in each one. That's fine. All you can, I mean, the nice thing is you have these opportunities that are profitable in the first place. Because remember when we first opened that file, let's go back to Scan Limited. If I remove the filters, which I can go to here and say clear and go back. Remember how our scan looked like initially. These were all negative. Like the, the benefit of using Scan Unlimited is so that you can go through a file that if you were to go one by one, you might find a lot of negatives. I mean, it seems like there's a lot of negatives here. And to be able to find, like by doing this in bulk, you know, this file took like less than five minutes to scan you can find opportunities because you're doing everything in bulk and you're gonna find the little uh, golden nuggets, so to speak. Uh, anyway, so I think this free purchase order generator actually lets you generate a PO in PDF form. Let's see what that looks like. Cool, yeah, actually, yeah. I'm surprised this, this is pretty good for a free purchase order. Um, so definitely check that out. Um, but yeah, that's how you guys would go through like the workflow. Please subscribe to the channel for more information. Definitely, uh, if you're interested in more advanced sourcing topics, uh, if this was a little too elementary for you, definitely subscribe. We'll be posting more videos on more advanced topics, including a seasonal sourcing uh, method. Please like the video if you liked it, share it with any other Amazon sellers that you know. Uh, also, we have a pretty decent following on Facebook. Uh, it's the Amazon FBA Wholesale Group. I'll put a link in the description so that you guys can join the group. There's lots of members there willing to help you, including myself. I'm there answering questions as much as I can, um, but definitely trying to build up the community so that uh, you know we can all help each other grow our Amazon businesses. That's it for this video. Uh, Till next time, guys. Thank you. Bye.